take two. Yep, take two. And the reason it's take two instead of take one is because on take one, I forgot to turn the microphone on. So video marketing lesson number one, always check to make sure the microphone is turned on. So check, check, check. Is, is it working? Check. You like that? Okay, let's get started. So hi, my name is Jerry Williamson. I'm with Vicious Flowers and Designs by Jerry. And what we're gonna talk about today is how do we distress clay pots to make them look like you just walked out into a garden and picked them up after they've been laying there for a year or two. Usually what you wanna do is you wanna take the clay pots and you want to distress them in a fashion that they kind of blend in with the rest of your wreath or the rest of the stuff that you're working on. So we're going to show you a couple of different methods today. Now there are many different ways to do this and I'll probably make videos on up in different times that's going to show you other ways to do it but I'm just going to pick two different ways today that I really like using and something I think you're going to really find interesting that we all can do. So first thing I want to do is we're going to take some varieties of different acrylic paints and basically what we want to do is, as I said, we're going to be trying to recreate nature. So recreate what you see out laying around in your garden and basically we want it to look like mold, moss, and just old growth basically. So you want to get those types of colors. So let's just test with these different colors here. Seems like my paint does not want to cooperate today. And you can take all different colors that you want, but I usually tend to try to stay with these natural colors. And it, you'll see in just a moment, it really doesn't matter because the way we're gonna put them all together, it's just fine. Now you take your paintbrush and you just start dabbing it into the paint, two or three different colors, and you just start going around your container. Now make sure that you also get up under the bottom of it because that way, as your people are looking up underneath your wreaths as you have them hanging on the wall, they're gonna see the color is extended onto the bottom of it. So let's just go all the way around. And like I said, there's no real pattern for this. We just want to make sure that we give it a very natural look. And obviously greens and browns is one of those natural colors. So get the top some and I'm going to come back with some of the yellow but since that's such a bright color what we'll do is, is then we'll go back over that with some brown and some gray and just kind of model that in to keep that from looking quite so bright. Because the natural color of the clay pot is a terracotta color this paint color looks really good with that. So now you can see we've got all these different colors here. Now we're going to take some paper towels. And we're just going to blot it. So as we go around and start blotting it, what that also does is that also helps your paints start kind of blending in together with a little bit more of another natural look to it. Okay, so now you can see that this, make sure you get something on the top, that this is what we are looking at, okay? So any colors you wanna use, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you also a different technique with the, that we use. And we'll use this one here. Now what we wanna do is let's set this off to the side and we'll get this bucket of water here. So you wanna make sure that you get a container that you can fill up with water and that you're not gonna mind the fact that it's gonna have spray paint on it. So you can see I've used this one a couple of times and after, I don't know, seven or eight times, you may even have to toss it if you don't like cleaning it that much. So make sure that you have a container that you can fill up with water, a gallon or so, but then at the same time, something you wanna make sure that you don't wanna keep. And we're going to take different types of spray paints. Now this is Design Master Floral Spray Paint. This is um, good for flowers. Uh, it's a water-based paint. And we're just going to spray it into the water. And you'll see, if you can see on the side camera, how the, the paint is taking on a 
marbled effect. And I'm going to take these little clay pots, plop, little clay pots, and just roll it in on the top of the water. And what that's going to do is it's going to pick up that paint there. So now you can see how that just starts connecting to the clay pot. And once again, you don't want to rub it, you want to blot it. And I'm using these colors number one because this really works great if you have um, greens also and other natural colors if you want to distress them. But I don't seem to have any of those that I can get my hands on right now. So what I'm doing is I've chosen to use these colors so that they'll show up really good for the camera and you can get a good idea of exactly what I'm doing here as we roll these paints on. Now this is really good if you're doing a wreath for a young lady who loves all these bright colors then she will love her clay pots instead of them being distressed she will love having them colored to match her flowers so you can do all kinds of bright colors so when you go to your craft store to buy your different types of paints and all of these are available at your local craft stores then you're going to see that there are literally hundreds of different colors of these so get the color of paint that you want to use according to what you're decorating for the time now the last thing we want to do is is we want to come in and I have something and I usually like to pull this old leftover paint off the top with my paper towel. So we want to go back to this one that we painted here and we want to take this paint. Now this is called glossy wood tone. Um, it's more of a stain as opposed to a paint. So it's a very light coat. And what whew, whew. then what you can do is is you can roll this over and you'll see what it's going to do is, is it's going to start giving you, gosh, I wish the close-up camera could see all of this right now, how it's just sticking to this clay pot. Look how beautiful this is. So now it's the same thing. We're just going to start very lightly dabbing this on to make sure that that adheres to the clay pot, but you don't want to rub it because that will really mess everything up. So make sure you get some on the bottom. And it seems to be after a while, after the paint has been on the water a while, it will lose its whatever it does to attract it to, to adhere. So make sure you spray and immediately start dunking this into the water. But this right here, you can see here how beautiful the veins is in this clay pot. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So imagine if you had a wreath full of pots like this right here, how natural your wreath would look. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these off to the side and let them dry. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take wild honeysuckle and work into your grapevine wreaths to give them another dimension, another natural look, and eventually they're going to hold these clay pots when we show you how to create a living wreath with live plants. So make sure you stay tuned, show up every week, and we'll show you how to do that. Until then, my name is Jerry Williamson with Vicious Flowers and Designs by Jerry, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.